What's shaking, Nostalgia Junkies? Welcome back to Growing Up Movies, and today we are exploring retro 80s toy crazes again with the oh-so-lovable Pound Puppies! So Pound Puppies have to have been one of the cutest toys of the 1980s, and also pretty unique because they appeal to little girls and boys alike. Originally introduced by Tonka with the tagline, Lovable Huggable, these stuffed critters were super popular in the 80s and into the 90s, and they've even experienced a resurgence as of late, as you can get new ones marketed as 1980s throwbacks, and those are available at Amazon and other online retailers. Yet another sign that 1980s pop culture is alive and well. Now, during the Pound Puppies explosion of the 1980s, the line was accompanied by a cartoon series, then a show, then a movie. Each Pound Puppy came in a cardboard carrying case with a certificate of adoption just to make it official, and each puppy had a tattoo heart PP on its backside so that you knew that you indeed had a real Pound Puppy. They even had a spinoff for cats called Pound Purries. Now, I really appreciate this toy line because what it did was bring awareness to the plight of homeless and neglected animals. And I can only imagine all the pound puppies out there over the decades that acted as inspiration for kids and parents to adopt real puppies, dogs, and cats from shelters because there's so many animals out there that need adoption. And these toys really kind of served as educational material for kids. I just think that is so cool and and what a special toy, and I'm just so pleased that they now are back in the limelight these days, and you can buy new versions of Pound Puppies based off the old ones. So that's it for today at Growing Up Movies. Uh, there is a lot more fun stuff to come. I would love to hear from you guys. Please comment and tell me what you think of this content. And there's, uh, please visit us at growingupmovies.com. Check out the blog. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, because this is all about our nostalgic love of things that we were into when we were kids and reconnecting with our suppressed childlike creativity. There's a lot more fun stuff to come. I'll see you next time.